welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well on our regular match day home program watch. And we're looking at this one today, which is of course the Chelsea game on the 8th of January 2023 in the FA Cup. Yes, the uh, Emirates FA Cup, isn't it? I always call it the FA Cup, but I suppose we should give it the sponsor's name as well. Comfortable 4 0 win, of course. We'll have a look at this one. A bit smaller than usual, as is the norm with the Carabao Cup programmes and uh, now with the FA Cup programme as well. So join me as we have a look through and read a couple of excerpts out of it as well. A couple of items on a couple of yeah, uh, familiar names to me, I'm, I'm sure to many of you as well. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It'd be great to have you on board. Everything City, past, present, and forever, of course. And if you're pushing buttons or not pushing buttons, push, push that little like button. Make an old City fan very, very happy. Yeah, still £4 for the reduced 68 pages as opposed to 84 pages. So we do unfortunately lose some of the better features. There's a couple, a couple, you know, they could probably swap three or four of them. But I suppose the guys who do the articles need a rest like Gary James and Mark McCarthy. So uh, I, I don't suppose can complain too much. But then again, they presumably don't get paid either, which is, is nice. You know, I assume they get paid uh, for the articles. Uh, or, yeah, let me know, Mark. Let me know, Mark. Let me know what you, what you get, mate. Is it paid per word? <laughs> do you get paid per word or for article, whatever it is? Yeah, so £4 for the reduced pages. You can subscribe of course through www.reachsportshop.com the 26 issues £97.50 and of course yeah, that equates uh, to a little bit cheaper doesn't it and obviously you do get the Champions League programmes cheaper as well because they're actually a five of the Champions League ones so you get the benefit of that as well and it's sixty plus £65 in Europe and plus 80 for the rest of the world and there is an option if you go on the site it doesn't tell you in the, in the magazine in the, in the advert that's up on the screen but you can also get 12 versions uh, for £45 as well so you don't say quite as much but it's still a bit cheaper so on the cover today, we've got, of course, who's in, the use of the covers, the guy that the interview inside do a main feature on. We've got Nathan Aki today having, having a very good season, of course. We've still got the regular standard stuff uh, from Pep, of course, introducing, and the City Women, City Under-18s, and the EDS. Uh, and the main feature itself follows on very, very quickly. We've got some past match pictures like City and Chelsea, and then you get the main feature itself on Aki. Uh, interesting start on Aki. 180 appearances before this game, uh, 15 goals and six assists. I thought that was quite awesome. Probably more than I thought he did get, actually. That's not too bad at all, is it? Head to head is Ortega versus Kepa. Yeah, on straightforward stats. Yeah, appearances Ortega 1, uh, Kepa 20. So, not exactly a, a, an in depth analysis of the two guys. Uh, interesting fact on Kepa. Yeah, he featured, of course, in the last three FA Cup final squads for Chelsea and they lost every single one of them. So, I'd, I'd get rid He's an unlucky omen, obviously. There's no buzzword in this one. Double Agents has the wonderful Sean Wright Phillips, an excerpt of that in a moment. X in the City features Terry Feeling. We've got the Terry Feeling. And we'll check out a couple of the Q&As he was asking it of of him in a moment as well. No kitted out, as I said, from Mark McCarthy. No City reflections from Gary James. No Kevin Cummings. I mean, flipping heck, I mean... Four quid, you should have charged us a 50p for this, for what's inside. Uh, matchmaker picks out 10 standout games for, for Scott Carson, uh, including Leeds, England under-21s, Liverpool, England full international team, Charlton, Aston Villa, West Brom, yes, and eventually City as well, yes. Uh, probably teams, some other teams he's played for not even featured there, is it, as well? So there you go, and that's it. That is it, apart from obviously the usual stats and stuff like that. So let's go back to Sean. Let's have a quick read of what uh, Sean's uh, item is in Double Agent. So let's just have a quick read through this. Uh, played for both sides. A hugely popular figure in the day. Uh, to this day with City supporters. Sean Wright Phillips played nearly 300 games for City over 10 seasons in two separate spells. In between, from 2005 to 2008, the live wire forward also played for Chelsea, appearing 125 times for the London club. There will also be a period after his second City stint with QPR before Wright Phillips wound down his career in the USA. But it was City that the son of legendary Arsenal striker Ian Wright made his name and where he's still fondly remembered today as a regular visitor to the Etihad, often in a media Year old. Having been released by Forrest as a teenager, Wright Phillips joined City and quickly established himself as a top prospect with his pace of performances on the wing. He made his debut in a League Cup tie with Burnley in August 1999. 
and followed this with league debut and a win at Port Vale two months later. Start of six seasons with the club in which he won the Young Player of the Year award four times in succession. So he was a young player on time, wasn't he? Uh, they were also the first of 36 England caps he would go on to win. And after that spell at Stamford Bridge, right, Phillips returned in August 2008, scoring twice on his second City debut in a win over Sunderland. The increased competition for places saw the star move on at the end of the 2010-11 season, although he went out in style, coming on as a sub in the FA Cup semi-final win over Manchester United. His penultimate appearance for the Blues, yeah, I tend to forget he played in that game, in fairness. So that's just a little bit about Shawnee. And to finish off, yes, we've got X in the city and Mr. Terry Feeling. We've got that Terry Feeling. Uh, yeah, so just a couple of questions and, and his answers to him. The question, he was asked, do you join City from Wimbledon in 1992 for a fee of two and a half million, which equaled the British record for a defender? Tell us about the move. He said, I was so hungry for success. There were a lot of other teams interested. Barcelona, United, Tottenham were all on the phone. But when Peter Reid told me about the blueprint of what he was trying to do, I thought, hang on a minute. I trained at City as a 12-year-old. I supported them as a boy. So I think my... So I think it was always in my blood. My first shirt was a City shirt. They, I didn't particularly know that either. And I wanted to be part of it. Good football, a wonderful crowd, running out in front of the Kipats back in Manchester. I had no hesitation. Oh, I love you, Terry. In there, uh, went on to ask him, is there any game you play for City that particularly stands out? He answered, I think it's always going to be your debut, coming on for a big fee. You are going to... Go out there trying to prove yourselves to the fans because it's the fans that you are pay, that are paying your money. They want success, and I wanted to give it to them. It was it was against Norwich, and I think I was on the Kipak side in the first half. I went on to three tackles in quick succession, and the round of applause I got from the Kipaks, it was like, yeah, he's arrived now. Coming in after Andy Hinchcliffe was always going to be a hard because he was a wonderful player. And then Neil Poynton uh, was a good left back, so I think. That gave me that sense of belief. And finally, his last question we'll have a look at today. How do you look back on that team? He says, Peter was a great manager, a great man manager. You'd put your body on the line, on the training ground, and we weren't that far away. David White was unstoppable at that time, and me and David got the very best out of each other in training. Now Quinn and Mike Sharon were playing well at that time as well, and there were good players throughout the team. There you go. So, Terry, did you, did you know he was a City fan as a kid? I, I, I had no idea. I, I might have. Then again, I might have known it and forgot it. That's just how it is. So, there you go, guys. As I said, a bit disappointing uh, losing some key key articles in this one. But uh, it's City, City city memories and stuff. We had Terry Field. We had Shawnee Wright Phillips. So, it part way went back. Went, went to making it up, didn't it? So it wasn't too bad. So there you go. But uh, we'll be back for 84 pages for the next one, which will be uh, a certain Tottenham Hotspur will be the next home programme we're going to have a look at. So uh, please uh, check that out with me. Um, look forward to that. Let me know Let me know your thoughts. As I said, don't forget to, uh, if you want to subscribe, etc. You can buy them individually as well. Don't forget, you can buy just the programme as a one-off, uh, plus £1.50 postage, which is pretty reasonable, in all fairness, from www dot reach sport shop dot com so there you go thanks for watching guys please until we meet again ask one thing don't I? please stay safe blues come on city bye for now <laughs>